Light can be energy, symbols, metaphor, source. It can reveal, absorb, hide, reflect, modulate, modify, or transform an object's substance, as well as its tone. Light and its absence are the con constituents of photographic picture making. And therefore, light is where I focus my attention in the construction, the photographing, and the printing of the collage imagery. Just as I hope for a new pictorial experience when I work, I hope to move my viewers to a place where they have never been before, where their feelings are opened up, where they imagine experiences like the one I had when I heard for the first time the choral arrangement of Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings, which I'd only known instrumentally before. The change was amazing. These experiences cannot be put into words. They are visual or musical or visceral. They wander into and through my emotional network, as do my responses to other forms of art. Each touches a unique set of human emotions in all of us. I try to play the tones and shapes and edges of the collage material with light in ways that make the blacks, silvery grays, and whites convey the sweep of a swelling or failing musical phrase. I try to make all of the photographic characteristics play with, against, or off each other, thinking in terms of harmony or dissonance, thinking of the various characteristics as the discrete parts of an orchestra or a choir. Musical motifs appear and reappear, a, a, a recapitulation of variations on these motifs or themes often shows up in the shadows of the same or different pictures. They are my pet phrases, chords, or melodies in visual form. What I'm trying to make are something like dream worlds of unknown but real events into which we are drawn. Dream worlds awash in human feelings. Nonverbal thoughts that make us pause, fall in, wallow around in the tensions, crescendos, dimin diminuendos, the rhythms of growing and diminishing tonal sound from bass to shrill soprano, from the timpani and bass fiddles to the flutes and violins to the brass and to the modulating silvery tones of the woodwinds. Often, for example, I try to make brilliant whites play an independent melody against the deep blacks or let the silvery grays take a solo. But in the photographs, it is all visual. Sound is there only by association or translation in the mind. What I am making are variations on recurrent themes that include perceptual changes in time, space, and light. For example, in my pictures, space fluctuates from flat to deep, often at the same place in the image. This is a result not only of the paper construction, but of the use of light for the collages themselves are rarely more than a quarter of an inch deep. The scale of the finished work is related to this fluctuation of space. For the large scale of the finished work in comparison to the scale of the collages, which may be as small as two by three inches, is another aspect of the transformation of things in the world to images in pictures. There are harmonies and dissonances and musical, I read that already, didn't I? There are harmonies and dissonances in musical counterpoint. There are references to the intimacies of Haydn and Mozart, to the bold and distant dramas of Beethoven and Brahms, to the astringent passions of Schubert, Schumann, and Stravinsky, to the exquisite tenderness of Weber. Like the shaman or alchemist, through the magical transformations made possible by the photographic medium, I am attempting to make the visual equivalent of a musical journey through a personal inner space. Now, of course, these are ideals, goals, and they are very, uh, very rarely reached. Most often, I can only come close. I'm frustrated either by the making of the collages, the attempts to control the lighting, the tones in the darkroom, or the overall recalcitrance of the photographic medium itself. I would like the experience of my photographs to remind us of two of the major enigmas of life. How little we know as compared to how much we think we know, and how little we know as compared with how much we feel. Photographs which could carry these enigmas might be joyous or disquieting, but to be able to make such photographs is one of my obsessions. Pictures may refer to known worlds and known realities, as I've said. But pictures always create new worlds and new realities. 
I like to say that pictures are only pictures and that they are usually about pictures, even as they either refer to something outside the picture or to a new world within the picture. Making something out of nothing, or more accurately, making something new and different out of something ordinary, used up, discarded, somehow seems to me to be an activity on the road to discovery. Discovery about nature's way of slowly regenerating itself in slightly but consistently new configurations. One of the essential aspects of art is transformation. Transformation of pigment, of sounds, of silver halides, all of these into new configurations, new objects, new experiences. Even after you have recognized my source material, you can't easily go back to some reality of that material as it existed in front of the camera. Not for long, anyway. You don't want to be inside one of those envelopes. So, you are asked to deal with the photograph, the transformation, the new object in the world, even if it is only to compare it with an imagined original in your mind. The Peace Warriors, which is a relatively new series, which I'd like to conclude with, and which you can see in this exhibition. Uh, the Peace Warriors were produced in 2003, and the solitudes which accompany them in this exhibition were produced in 2004. They were the focus of books published in 2004 and 2005. And you will have noticed that the Peace Warriors have a figurative aspect, after all my talk about non-figuration. The characters include samurais, Don Quixotes, Don Quixote being one of my heroes. And both of these characters have appeared in my work before, but never with the persistence nor the accompanying Grim Reapers and Sancho Panzas that directed me through the 2003 year. At some point, I realized that my work was in response to the events in Iraq. So I want to quote a short paragraph of what I wrote about this series in early 2004. I said, everywhere confrontation reigns, conflict is chosen, resolution avoided. My world is a confused collage, a nightmare montage, a world in which once again, humanity and inhumanity are seen impossibly as one and the same. Of course, I can say that about what's going on today also.